playwright George Bernard Shaw once said that there's no love sincerer than the love of food. And it's also true that cuisine can be as twin-driven as fashion. On the other hand, some things remain constant, like the quest for quality, be it in fabric and tailoring or ingredients and preparation. Shaquille Khan is a master baker with a couturier's approach to his craft, as Zaki discovered. By the time the sun rises over the Josie skyline, pastry master Shaquille Khan and his dedicated team are well into their working day, transforming basic ingredients into individual works of art that are so perfect, you almost don't have the heart to eat them. If you want to see my self-control fly out the window, expose me to the smell of freshly baked goods. My passion for pastry is notorious, so when I found out about the best custard donuts in Joburg, I had to find them and I had to find the man who makes them. It was an Alice in Wonderland moment. These must be for me. <laughs> oh my goodness, you just caught me shoving your donuts into my face. Those are for me, right? <laughs> How's the donuts? Uh, heaven, it's amazing. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Shaquille, where did your love of baking and cooking start? It started back in my mom's kitchen when I was a little boy. We used to watch my mom do a lot of pastry making and it was more of a weekend thing. But uh, yeah, that's where it all began. How did you go about training to be a patissier? I headed to San Francisco to this amazing baking school. It's the San Francisco Baking Institute, headed up by a guy called Michel Suas. He's probably one of the finest master bakers in San Francisco. The man is amazing. And what was the most important thing you learned from him? Make sure you keep everything in grams. Reason being is you have a greater control of the outcome. Can I be your sous chef? Sure, why not? Come join us. <laughs> The working environment is clinically clean and the attention to detail allows no compromises in the name of mass production. What's that? Your flour, your sugar, your salt, your fresh yeast mm -hmm. and your eggs. That's it? Yeah. Okay, then you get your flour. three minutes and then we stop the mixer, stop your timer, your five minutes is up, Great. get your butter, you're going to put the mix on now Okay. and then you're going to add just a piece Thanks. by piece here. Yeah. It takes us two to three days to make our doughs. Because of the process, we did put a dough together for you. Okay. Here's the dough that we made yesterday for today. We take a portion, we scale it around 50 grams, so that's 51. That is amazing. He literally just cut 40, 49, 51. Okay, so. This is amazing. Okay, you can have a try. Okay. Okay, I think you're gonna get it on 50. Ah, uh, I hope so. Oh, 48. I say we can start now. Okay. okay so basically, okay. this is what you're gonna do. We're gonna shape, think round and tight. You need to be good at this now. Then you got your shape. So we already had a dough proofing. We're gonna fry them. Would you like to fry them with us? I'm gonna watch you because I'm deadly scared of oil. You're scared of hot oil. oil. No. Okay, it's not that hot, okay. but you can try. Okay. You, you can see. I don't know that this is how they were done. I thought that they were kind of submerged in oil. We fry our donuts in, in pots as opposed to a fryer. We did use this before, and the thing is that it makes the donut really, really oily. You can turn them now. Got our donuts here, now we're gonna sugar them. Can never have too much sugar. Why did you decide to come back to South Africa and start a business? South Africa is home, you miss that vibe, you miss the people. What is your recipe to success? I believe in quality, quality over everything. That's my, that's my goal, yeah. When do you begin work and what is a typical working day? Typically we near at around four, sometimes earlier, maybe 3.30, sometimes three o'clock. It, it depends on what we need to do for the day. What is your secret to making a really delicious pastry? Depending on the pastry you're making, it could be a chocolate mousse, use good chocolate. And for croissant making and donuts, use a very, very good quality butter. And butter is life. Is it a challenge to be both an artisan and a businessman? It depends what you want out of life. 
I'm quite happy earning just a living from what I do. I'm an artist and I accepted what I am. So what comes with it comes with it. If I'm never going to be that millionaire, it's fine. I don't look at the money and the millions and that's not what I'm here for. Shaquille, do you believe in paying it forward? Yes, I do. I mean, like, you have to share with other people what you know because you cannot do everything yourself. My staff are doing really well, considering none of them have been in kitchens before. They're good people, they work well, and yeah, we, we're doing well as a team. These are done now. My family is here. Would you like to join us for some pastries? That would be lovely, thank you. Let's go. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. How are you? Hello, can, I, can you shake my hand? You're so lucky to have a baker as a husband, but with that comes the early mornings and the long hours. How do you work around that? We both set our alarms for 3 a.m. and I'm usually the first one up. We make it work. Every day is, is a different day, a different challenge, especially with our kids. We, we juggle and we spend enough time with each other and with them. Here we go. It doesn't matter whether it's a cake, croissant or pastry, they all have one essential ingredient and that's love. Shaquille loves what he does and you can taste it in every bite. 